and welcome to Seeing Through Glass. Whilst yesterday might have been a teaser, today is finally the Ferrari 70th anniversary celebrations. I'm literally here as an obsessed fan. As far as I'm aware, there's no sort of media access to any of these 70th anniversary celebrations. But there was. Got that 360. Oh, God, Sad! There is so much going on that I kind of felt like I could just turn up and hopefully chance it and wing it. And as yesterday proved, if you saw my video from yesterday, I think it was a pretty good decision. Now, as far as I know, most of the big rallies and convoys to Maranello don't arrive until about 5 or 6 p.m. this evening. It's currently 1 p.m. But there's a big auction taking place, the RM Sotheby's auction. And as the cars that I'm following and seeing coming the other way are proving, there are just Ferraris everywhere. So I might as well head in and see what's going on in Maranello. Now, don't get me wrong, whilst there are already some amazing cars hanging around, I'm expecting things to get crazier and crazier. So whilst it's a little bit quiet, I'm gonna get some lunch, stock up on some energy, ready for the long haul from about 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. Oh, I'm excited. Well, that was an exceptionally good, but an exceptionally frustrating lunch because the entire time I was sat there, I kept seeing better and better cars drive past. There is a grey 250 short wheelbase here and I am going to find it. Anyway, time to uh, get on foot, get into Maranello and see what is going on with this Ferrari celebration. As you may have seen, it's pretty damn busy today. <laughs> there are not only hundreds if not thousands of Ferraris cruising around, but the amount of people standing around. I don't know if they're Ferrari owners or people like me who've just turned up to see what's going on, but it's making the streets a pretty hectic place. I've come a little bit further down, away from sort of the craziness towards the track. There are still lots of people milling around to see. I'm assuming this is where all the cars are going to be coming. I don't really know. I wish I had more information. <laughs> but it is an amazing place to be, to soak up all this atmosphere. Just a little bit hard to film in. I don't freaking believe it. Look, dark green, 275. Has it got a tan interior? Yes, it does. Oh my God. Amazing, they're everywhere.
I don't want to make any assumptions, but that did just look like the dad or the husband was driving the LaFerrari and his wife or daughter was driving the LaFerrari Aperta. If that is the case, in any, in any breakdown of that, that is ultimate family goals. That was the coolest thing I think I've ever seen. And also, I'm sorry, I don't want to get all sort of, you know, about sexism and stuff like that, but go female LaFerrari driver. How often do you see those? I feel like the first wave has kind of gone in or passed now. The traffic is <laughs> the traffic is dying down, so I'm going to head back into the madness of the crowds and the parked up cars just to see. But I mean, that entire run of all the classics and then the the LaFerraris and stuff. Oh, I can't really see how it's going to get better than there. But there is supposed to be some mental things still to turn up. I'm losing the ability to speak. I'm just so blown away by what's going on. Okay, I've been doing a little Hercule Poirot action, a little investigating, because really, whilst there's madness going on in Maranello, the main thing that everyone's waiting for is the arrival of this 500 car convoy from Milan. These are all owner's cars that have been driving all over Europe and are now gonna end up in Maranello, hopefully in around an hour. I've been trying to work out where they're gonna be coming from because whilst it's great to see so many people out, um, the crowds I mean, it's quite hard to get shots and I wanted to go somewhere a little bit quieter to see if I could get some cool footage. So I found this little side street where apparently word is the cars are gonna be coming through to get to the Fiorano racetrack, which is their finish line. So I'm gonna wait here and hopefully get some good shots of this mad convoy turning up.
this is what you call a pretty damn good birthday party. Happy anniversary, Ferrari. You're freaking amazing. It is literally never ending, this convoy. I'm running out of battery on my camera. There are so many cars. Specialia Pertas, LaFerrari, TDF, 488 Spiders. It is non-stop, jaw-dropping stuff. I'm trying to look at the numbers, because apparently there were 500, but I already saw one saying 609. <laughs> They're still coming. I come round the corner and they're still coming. It's never ending. That's a sign of how crazy today is that an F40, a two, get up a bit, two F40s just chilling out. That might finally be the end. Honestly, <laughs> I'm not entirely sure because things just keep turning up, but it's going to be the end of my video because my battery is so nearly dead and I've got about three million files to go through to edit. But what an incredible day. It has surpassed all expectations I could have ever had. Uh, it's basically been my dream day. I think I've seen every Ferrari that I could ever have wanted to see ever. He's clearly going to get fuel, but oh, I'm not even sad that I can't get past the red rope now. I think I've seen everything that I want to see. I'm not sure what's going on the other side of the wall, but I don't know, frankly, if I care. But yes, childhood dream achieved. Uh, seeing something like this taking place in Maranello has been mind-blowing. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope I've been able to sort of try and represent it as best as I could. It's been a manic, manic day, but give it a thumbs up if you have enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe for all the Vlogari videos to come. This feels like a bit of a peak, but don't worry, there's still some very special stuff happening next week as the Vlogari adventures continue.